Hey everybody, it's West Point checking in. Uh, this is going to be episode two of our short and simple tutorials on various weapons uh, and other interesting things with the uh, A10C2. Today we're going to look at uh, the laser guided rockets or APKWS, the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System. It's uh, really versatile and it's very easy to use and you can carry a lot of weapons uh, with them. Right now I have uh, 21 M282Ls, the multi-purpose penetrating rockets, and 21 M151L high explosive uh, rockets uh, on so like I said, you can carry a lot of these, and uh, if you've got a lot of small targets uh, that are mixed in with everything else, uh, you can do a lot of damage with them. And it'll also save you a lot of Mavericks, uh, especially for APCs and light armor. As far as setting them up, uh, they're pretty much good to go if you are flying by yourself. Uh, if we look down here, you'll notice that uh, it's flashing 1688 for the laser code. And if we go to our targeting pod and we go to control, it's also at 1688. But since uh, we'd be flying with somebody else and we don't want to have a laser conflict, we want to change these codes. Let's just do something simple. Uh, 168 six. We can put that on the scratch pad and you can see it in the HUD. Come to inventory on your dismiss page. Click the M282L. Click rocket. Click laser code and load. Now when it goes back to inventory you see 1686 on the M282Ls. Now we need to make the 151s match that. So we're going to click uh, on station 9 rockets again and on the scratch pad 1686. We can check that there and verify it. Put that on the 151s and hit load for that station. Now we go back to the stat page and we have 1686 showing on both. Now we need to make sure that our laser is also firing the same laser code. So 1686 I missed the 6, now we have it. And we put that in as our laser code. Hit return to take us back to our targeting pod and we're good to move in on some targets. We're real close to them right now, so we'll come back around and uh, hit these guys. We're five miles out right now. Let's go to white hot. If we look down here on the roadway, black hot, you either a little more obvious that these are APCs that are parked along the roadway. And on the other side over here, uh, we have a lot of infantry scattered around. And we also have a, an open encamped uh, AAA gun. We want to get rid of the AAA first. Uh, that's going to be our biggest threat. So, while we're above him, let's go ahead and, uh, like White Hot, we'll go back to White Hot and TMS up long. I'm going to make him spee. Go to our Dismas page and get in the habit of when you're selecting your weapons, make your HUD soy and use DMS right short to cycle through them. 
That way any of the settings you have on your weapons, it's not going to change the settings. We're at 15,000 feet, which is way higher than we need to be for this, but uh, that's okay. We'll move out away from the target, because we're going to dive in on a couple of these anyway. <coughs> The reason I like using the 151Ls, uh, a lot of people only use uh, the M282Ls, uh, the multi-purpose penetrating rounds for light armor. I like the 151s because you have a larger blast radius uh, with the 151s. And in this particular situation, as luck would have it, uh, there's a lot of infantry standing around. Uh, hopefully, we can take out not only our AAA, but also some infantry while we're at it. That's the reason that I like the high explosive round. Master arm is on, laser is on, targeting pod is on. We have our laser codes matching all the way around. And we're coming back around on our B. And we want it to be, we want our target to be inside the rectangle, or at least on the perimeter of it. And that's because this is a CCIP weapon and the laser's just guiding it home. So we're going to dip down just a little bit, use nose wheel steering to turn the laser on. You see the L flashing. He's well within the circle. And we fire one off. And you want to keep your target inside your targeting pod. If the laser masks, you will miss the target. But we should be good on this guy. We were, we were plenty far out. And... Not only did we take him out, but look at that list of uh, infantry that we just took out. In fact, uh, I'm not sure that we left any standing. Uh, we got two that are walking away. Um, let's come back around and use a 151L on this truck that's also down there with those guys. Now you can use a 282 on the truck, uh, it'll work just fine. It would have worked just fine on the AAA as well, but uh, you don't get the blast radius out of it that you do with the uh, 151. So we're going to come back around and you kind of roll in just like you would with a gun run. See our speed, lasers on. Keep them in the TGP. Turn the laser off, and we've hit the uh, truck now, also, so we get a shack on both of those. Now, I believe we still have two guys that are trying to get away. Doesn't look like they're trying very hard, but. Uh, this will give you another uh, visualization of why I like using the 151s for target uh, that has infantry around them or anything that's open for that matter. The blast radius uh, is good enough to where you don't have to put a single rocket on a single infantry. So we're going to go over to our targeting pod, make it speed directly between the two of them. We're going to roll in. Pull up! Pull up! And we're a little closer than we want to be.
Okay, the speed is between the two infantry. Laser is on, and we just fired another 151. And I believe it's safe to say that we shacked both of those guys also. Alright, let's move on to the uh, M282L multi-purpose penetrating uh, rockets. We have a number of APCs along the roadway and one of the reasons that I also like the AP KWS is you can use them kind of like a gun as far as rolling in on your targets. Um, as long as you've got them marked uh, as your speed, when you come back around, uh, you can just uh, roll in, have your laser on, and uh, put a rocket on top of them. There's our first victim right there. We'll make him TMS up long, center point of interest. We're gonna come rolling in a little from the north this time. Have our laser flashing. See the speed diamond come into the rectangle. Fire it with the laser flashing. Keep them in the targeting pod. And we've got a shack on the first APC. This one is moving. So we point targeted him. And we're only 1.7 miles out, so we need a little more distance to roll in on him. The uh, laser-guided rocket's range, I believe, is 1.2 miles to 7.1 or 7.4 or something along those lines. If you're too close, uh, your laser will come off your target. So now that we're at 3 three miles basically from the uh, second APC. We'll zoom in on him. Come around as we're coming around. Go ahead and trigger the laser. Start laser painting him. Get him inside the rectangle. And we'll put a 282L on him also. Now move over, select another TMS up long, make him more speed, and turn your laser off in between. Uh, reason being is uh, you do have a finite amount of time on your laser before your laser burns out. So we're going to get a little bit of range, like, like with the last target, we had about three miles that was perfect just to roll in and dive on him and pull back up. We're at three miles now and we're going to do the same. We're just going to roll in, not pull too hard so that we get a gimbal roll and throw off our targeting pod. We're going to trigger our laser. And we've got a shack on our third one. They're shooting at us from the ground, so if 
we want to, we can sit here all day and just keep taking these guys out. Uh, but that's that's all there is to uh, the laser guided rockets. You want to make sure that you have your laser code set so that you've got a match with uh, your 151Ls, your 282Ls, and your targeting pod so that your, your laser is designating your, your targets appropriately and um, paint them with the laser get them inside uh, the reticle and the HUD TMS up long, uh, make them spee Got a gimbal roll on this one, but we're far enough out where we should be able to get rid of that. Start the laser painting. You notice, look for your flashing L. Speed is right there. And we've got rocket again on top of another one. That was a hit, but not close enough. He moved. He moved or I moved. One or the other. Uh, but you get the gist of it. Uh, it's as simple as that. And we've still got 17 282Ls left and uh, 18 151s. We'll come back around just for good measure and see if we can hit this one last one. If you have any questions about the uh, laser-guided uh, rockets, don't hesitate to put them in the comments. Again, like and subscribe. We're going to do some more of these um, tutorials. Next one we'll do uh, will probably be on laser-guided bombs. And that's all there is to it. West Point checking out. Uh, happy hunting. We'll catch you on the next one.